tropical mountains are hotspots of biodiversity. As conditions get cooler towards the summit, zones of different vegetation are tightly packed, each with its own unique species. Mount Kinabalu in Sabah, Malaysian Borneo, is such a place. So on the summit of this huge mountain occur hundreds of species of animals and plants and fungi that occur nowhere else on Earth, and, and we call these endemics. Geologically speaking, the mountain is young, formed by a giant blob of molten rock that has been rising up for the past few millions of years. Scientists have long wondered about the origin of Kinabalu's endemics. Are they younger than the mountain, evolved from lowland species that adapted to the cool conditions? Or are they much older, mountaintop survivors from a time when Borneo itself was cooler? To answer these questions, a team of Malaysian and Dutch biologists went on an expedition to the mountain. They sampled the DNA of insects, snails, spiders, leeches, frogs, flowering plants, ferns, mosses and mushrooms. From the hot lowland forest to the cold cloud forest where most of the endemics live. Analyzing the genetic codes could tell the researchers when they evolved, but also whether they had evolved from local or distant ancestors. The results, published in the journal Nature, show two things. So first we discovered that the endemics are younger than the mountain itself and second that they had evolved from ancestors that already preferred cold conditions. The ancestors of some endemics lived on lower mountains in Borneo, while others drifted in from other Asian mountains, like the Himalayas. So besides cracking the mystery of Kinabalu's endemics, our results also imply that tropical mountain flora and fauna cannot easily adapt to a changing climate. So, on Mount Kinabalu and many other mountains, evolution may not be able to rescue the unique summit endemics if climate warming continues.